actually started messing up right from the beginning. The fragrance oil I used for this soap is strawberry daiquiri, which discolors the soap. So I was supposed to only put it in the gold and red mixed with a little titanium dioxide. But I messed up and accidentally put some fragrance oil in the bright pink color as well. It's not a huge deal, I'm just a perfectionist, and now once the soap starts to cure, the bright pink is going to be more of a dingy dark pink color. Part of my batch accelerated again. This has happened the past couple times I've made soap and I have no idea why. I've used this fragrance oil before and never had an issue and I always soap at room temperature so the only other thing I can think of is maybe I've been using the stick blender too much at the beginning. I don't know but it's super annoying because it messed up my original design from where I made these soaps the first time. kept messing up this soap. So my original design for this soap is layered on the bottom and then swirled on the top. But I completely forgot to whip the gold until it's thick and firm. So now when I add the other colors, they're just going to sink right to the bottom, creating a swirled look all around, which is not what I was going for. Right here is where I had to improvise real quick and hurry up and add the pink and red colors in. I was super annoyed because like I said the colors just ended up sinking to the bottom instead of creating a layered look like the other batches of this soap I've made. I don't know what was wrong with my brain that day but thankfully I was able to scoop all the soap and save the batch before the soap turned into soap on a stick and I wasn't able to use it at all.
Luckily, I remembered not to put fragrance oil in the pink color this time around for the frosting, so it should come out bright pink. Also, if anybody is wondering, the reason I soap at such cool temperatures when making soap frosting is because the cooler it is, the faster it'll firm up and the faster I can put it on top of the soap. Also, for the soap frosting, I usually mix it until it reaches medium trace. Once it's at medium trace, I'll let it sit usually anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes or until it's firm and ready to be put in the piping bag. You just have to be careful not to let it sit too long because if it's too hard or too firm, you won't be able to use it because it won't be able to come out of the piping bag. Even though I messed up a million times while making these, they still turned out beautiful and smell absolutely amazing. The pink in the base portion is bright right now, but will unfortunately get darker over time. I have a couple of these available on my website, which is linked in the description box. Thanks for watching.